kind of crazy to think, but next gen has pretty much started. As of the recording of this video, PS5 comes out tomorrow, Xbox Series X is already out. And yeah, what a time to be alive, huh? Now, uh, as it isn't unusual with a new console's launch, we're seeing reports of, you know, defects for certain people, especially with Series X having launched. There are a couple of reports of people experiencing certain problems with the console. Now, some are real and some not so much. And among the so-called hardware issues that has been spreading is this video clip showing a smoking Xbox Series X. So let's take a look at that right here. So this looks pretty bad when you just take a glimpse at it. It looks like, I don't know, something inside fried and it's smoking up a little bit. So a lot of people looked at this and were concerned that maybe their Xbox Series X will, I don't know, light itself on fire or something. But, ladies and gentlemen, it's very likely that the clip showing the smoking Xboxes, that stuff's probably fake. As reported by news outlet Vice, the Xbox Series X is not on fire, it is just vaping. And there are a number of people who replicated the results shown in that video by showing themselves blowing vape underneath the Series X, which is picked up and vaped out. I suppose. So here is a Twitter user Drifter who showed the following clip of just, yeah, blowing some vape inside or underneath the Series X and it leads to the same effect. Beyond that, you've got Tom Warren, who is senior editor at The Verge, who tweeted out how to get your Xbox Series X to blow up. One, buy a vape. Two, blow vape into bottom of Xbox. Three, feel proud of the smoke you created. Four, post to Twitter and profit video via Xbox Studio. So you can see, yeah, the same effect here. Entonces, la voy a apagar por completo y os voy a enseñar, mientras, una vez que se ha apagado esto, voy a aprovechar el ventilador, la fuerza del ventilador para echarle vapor por aquí debajo y que veáis cómo da la sensación de que se está quemando. Pero en realidad no se está quemando, porque no hay nada dentro de esta consola que pueda reaccionar esa, esa reacción química. Así que, vamos a esperar un segundito a que se apague. Yo de mientras voy preparando el vapor, So he's turning the console off right now. Porque es que me parece increíble que la gente se entretenga en estas cosas, en el día de lanzamiento... So yeah, there it is. Fairly simple to replicate. Even when the console's turned off, you can just kind of do it. Basically, he emphasized that the video spreading online showed the Xbox Series X console turned off, and he talked about how right after you turn off the console, the fan is still kind of spinning a little bit, and that allows for people to turn off the console, blow the vape underneath the Series X right after it turns off, and the fan will pick that up and blow the smoke out and create the effect that the Series X is allegedly burning. And then Tom Warren continued with, I'm in contact with people reporting early hardware issues, but please beware of videos, pictures that are clearly fake. They take advantage of media organizations that prioritize clicks over reporting and social media to spread far and wide. Microsoft, we take all product safety reports seriously and our products meet or exceed industry standards. We are in the process of investigating further. So this is the response Tom Warren got when he reached out to Microsoft, but essentially, this is not to say that there aren't any hardware issues whatsoever. I've seen some videos of people showing their disk drive, for example, being way louder than it should be, or some disk drives that are not even taking in the disk for some reason. And as early adopters, we're maybe potentially some of us bound to experience technical issues with both Series X and PS5, and those should absolutely be reported. But there are also reports out there that are definitely fake like Xbox Series X is literally catching on fire and emanating smoke. The reality is that these specific videos are most likely fake and how easy it is to replicate that kind of really goes to show. And beyond that, the official Xbox Twitter page got wind of this and tweeted out the following. We cannot believe we have to say this, but please do not blow vape smoke into your Xbox Series X. I mean, beyond people using those videos to spread false claims, there's also the fact that blowing vape into your Series X may damage the internal components. So yeah, 
it's not the safest thing to do if you're trying to keep your xbox series x for the long term this is probably not the safest idea for those worried that xbox series x's are blowing up or catching on fire i have not seen any legitimate reports of that happening though again i've seen some disk drive issues and you know they're bound to be technical issues in this launch period report those as much as possible, but be aware of some potential fake reports as well. To close off the video, one more thing I wanna talk about is the nomenclature of the Xbox Series X, resulting in people getting One X instead. And in the case of this Reddit user, it wasn't the user who made the mistake, but rather the storefront, the retailer who sent them the wrong one. So this uh, headline reads, so just got my all access Series X pre-order and this is what they got very clearly, a 1X. And the original poster added, and yes, I triple checked the order and it was for the Series X. This was in Australia through Telstra. And clicking on the image and taking a look at it, you can see right here indeed that it is a Series X order, not a 1X. Now, I don't know how widespread stuff like this is right now or will end up being, but I do imagine that we're going to see a number of cases like this where either the user or the retailer gets confused between 1X or Series X. I mean, it was only two months ago, back in September 22nd, when Xbox Series X pre-orders went up that we started seeing reports of people accidentally buying Xbox One Xs instead with sales of One X surging alongside the Series X when pre-orders went live, which is not something that happened with PlayStation, for example, because the delineation between PS4 and PS5 is very clear. Whereas the One X versus Series X for the people who don't follow game news daily, for the average Joe, if you will, I can see why this nomenclature may cause confusion and may lead to little Timmy having asked for Series X for Christmas, but getting a 1x instead i foresee that happening a decent amount but hopefully retailers who did make this mistake will make it right for the customer and customers who made this mistake will hopefully realize their error before the console ships and cancel or switch appropriately but setting that story aside the main takeaway from this video is that if you're a prospective series x purchaser and are worried about your series x catching on fire that's definitely not one of the major issues that have been proven to be legit so you know that's one thing to keep in mind hopefully one bit of relief for anyone who might be worried about that after seeing those videos out there. So that's today's video. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on those clips of the smoking Series X spreading. And if you managed to get yours, how are you liking the console? Are you experiencing any issues or is everything honky-dory running A-OK? -okay? Drop a comment and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.